Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at multiplying and dividing by multiples of 10. So by multiples of 10, I mean 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, a million, anything that has a one and some zeros, basically. So let's start off by doing a couple of multiplications. So we've got seven times 100. Now we could of course just pop this in a calculator and perhaps that's the easiest way, but it's sometimes useful to know how to do this um, in your head without having a calculator with you. With all of these multiplying or dividing by multiples of 10, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of zeros in what I'm multiplying by. So I'm gonna count the zeros in 100. There are two zeros. I'm gonna put a little two there, just to remind me. Now the important thing to remember with any number is actually we have some zeros in front and some zeros after a decimal point. So for seven, we have actually what's an infinite number of zeros before the seven, got a decimal point, and then an infinite number of zeros after the seven. So this doesn't affect what number we've got here. This is still the number of seven. It's just a an alternative representation. So I am trying to multiply this by 100. And when I'm multiplying, what I can do is move my decimal point. Actually, technically, I'm moving the numbers, not the decimal point, but it's a, a good way of thinking about it that we're moving the decimal point. I'm moving the decimal point however many zeros this number has. So my 100 has two zeros, so I'm moving my decimal point two places to the right. And it's going to the right because it's a multiplication. A multiplication by 100. So now I have moved my decimal place from there to there, which means that what I've got, if I just put in the rest of these zeros, now I've got the number 700. So I've got infinite zeros in front and I've got a decimal point with some zeros, but actually I've got 700. And that makes sense because we know that seven times 100 is 700. Okay, let's have a look at this one over here. So 2.6 times 10,000. So again, I'm just going to add some zeros to this to make it easy to do. And I'm going to count my zeros in 10,000. So I've got one, two, three, four. Four zeros in 10,000. And that means I'll move my decimal point to the right four places. So one, two, three, four. That's where my decimal point is moving to. So it has moved from there to, where to move? There we go, it's moved to there. So it's moved between those two zeros. And I've still got a couple of zeros on the end. It doesn't really matter. It means the same thing, but 2.6 times 10,000 is 26,000. Great. And that works for all multiples of 10 when you're multiplying by them. Now we can also divide by multiples of 10. So I can divide by 100, by 1000, etc. So I've got an example here where I've got 1.4 divided by 1000. Now remember I said we have infinite zeros either side. I'm going to draw some of those on. 1.4 and some on the other side just for safe measure. So I've got some of those zeros and it's still 1.4, the number hasn't changed. And I do exactly the same thing as I was doing for multiplying, except this time I'm going to move my decimal point to the left. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count my zeros in 1000. Well, I've got three. And so I'm going to move my decimal point three places to the left. So one, two, three. 
so that gives me I'll write that out again with my decimal point moved it gives me this which is 0.0014 and like I said you can do it on a calculator but it's sometimes useful to know how to multiply and divide by multiples of 10 in your head.